Hey, what's up, guys? Luke Profits. This is a video on uh, going below standard and what it is and, you know, what happens and why it's it's really bad <laughs> if you let that happen. So uh, eBay has something called your seller standard, and I've talked about this before in other videos, but uh, yeah. So your seller standard is basically a measure of how good of a seller you are. It's not very... Um, detailed, you know, it, it, when you make a new account, it doesn't even show it. Uh, but then after like about a month, it gives you your rank of above standard. Uh, and then if you screw stuff up, then you're going to go below standard. And if you do really well and are meeting all your metrics, then you're going to go to uh, top rated seller. And there's even top rated plus beyond that. Uh, but yeah, so the main thing is uh, if you go below standard, well, let me just explain what happens. Yeah, if you go below standard, um, your metrics get into the red, and basically your sales are going to go down a lot. So when you're when you're below standard, eBay thinks you're a bad seller, um, and you know you're just going to get way, way, way less sales because of that. And the only way to fix uh, being below standard is to get enough sales uh, that you can sort of push it back up um, to above standard. So um, the, the biggest thing to watch out for are cases and returns and uh, making sure that you refund people when they've returned items promptly. Uh, and basically, if you have more than two of those happen in, you know, they, they drop off after, um, I think it's like six months. Um, gosh, I'm, I'm tired right now. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> I've been filming videos for a long time. Um, yeah, so, so cases, if you have more than two of these closed against you in, uh, I think it's a six-month period, then basically uh, you're going to be in trouble there, and your account's going to go below standard. So that's why I always say it's really important to deal with your cases, stay on top of them and everything. Um, it's okay to have a case go to eBay as long as you know you're going to win. So if you have a tracking number proving it was delivered, and they say, oh, I never got it, and you've double-checked the addresses match and everything, then you're fine to let that go to eBay. But pretty much any other case, um, you know, you want to handle it and uh you know for returns you give them a return turn label they return it you refund them um you know that's it's not too hard sometimes you'll have weird complicated situations and sometimes you need to lose 10 bucks or whatever it is to close a case um so that you don't have it go to ebay um because you could you know you could keep the 10 bucks but uh then you know you're going to get a, a case closed against you and that's not good for your account because getting two of them in six months and your account is screwed. So yeah, uh, the only way to you know, it's based on percent. So you know, basically, you know, two occurrences or zero point three percent. If you if you get below that, uh, if you have a higher higher rate than that, then your account's going to go go below standard. And there are other metrics too that can cause it, but this is like the uh, the the most sensitive one basically. So. Um, as long as you as long as you do that, it's it's pretty easy to stay above standard. You just don't want this to happen. But the the hard part is once you've gone below standard, you know the only way to fix that is to get enough sales to increase that percentage back, uh, or you know wait six months for them to drop off. Um, and so and, and it's it's extra hard because eBay is like pushing you lower, so you're going to get less sales. But what you need is more sales to be able to fix it. So it's a very difficult thing to fix. Now, one thing that I do want to mention, a lot of people think and have messaged me and said, hey, uh, you know, no problem. I'm below standard right now because I screwed up, but I'll just open a new account. Um, no, that's not how that works. You can't you can't do that. So eBay's got a multiple account policy here. Let me show you here. Uh, read the full policy. Da 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 da. Um, whether you have one account or more, eBay expects users to manage each of their accounts effectively in order to meet the highest buyer and seller standards. Uh, the seller standards we're talking about. These standards and rules regarding performance, risk, uh, and best practices are applicable for each account and help ensure the safe, positive experience. Uh, users are expected to resolve issues as they arrive and follow the steps provided by eBay to bring accounts back into good standing before continuing to buy or sell with other accounts. So, um, yeah, basically, if you if your account goes below standard, uh, or if you're suspended or restricted or anything like that, but I'm specifically talking about if your if your account is below standard and you say, okay, well, I'm just going to open a new account, then uh, you know you you you'll probably successfully open the account. You might even get six hours of use out of it, but uh, then you're going to get hit, and both accounts are probably going to get suspended and screwed because you're violating the multiple accounts policy, which they are not very flexible on. Um, as you, You're allowed to open new accounts, but your accounts have to be in good standing, and one account going below standard doesn't necessarily affect 
another account going below standard, but if you have an account that is below standard or suspended or restricted, you're not allowed to open a new account. So just, um, it's, it's a frustrating thing because if you screw up, and I, I am guilty of this, I screwed up the first time, you know, when I was starting on eBay before I was drop shipping, I screwed up, didn't understand how this worked, let my account go below standard, and it took, I don't know, three or four months at least for me to get it back up, and my sales were way down, and I lost a lot of money because of it, um, or, you know, not lost a lot of money, but didn't make a lot of money due to me not understanding all this and uh, my stuff getting pushed way lower in search results. So, yeah, um, take care of your stuff. Make sure you're on top of your cases and your returns. I've said this a ton of times, but that's what's going to cause you to go below standard. You can go and see, if you look at the seller standards, um, you have to sign into your account. Uh, and when, they, when you're on your seller hub, uh, ebay.com sh, uh, you can just click the little thing. It'll say, like, above standard, probably, or top rated. Uh, you can click on that, and it'll show you sort of a breakdown of every single metric. you got to keep everything in the gray to be above standard. Uh, if you get every single metric into the green, you'll become top rated. And if you get even one metric in the red, then uh, you will go below standard. And that's what's really, really hard to get out of. Um, so yeah, there's no quick fix to going below standard. So I'm sorry if you let your account go below standard. There's not much that you can do. Um, you may want to look... Well, probably, I mean, I even, I really, I really don't recommend it. Um, I, I am going to cover in this course a little bit about stealth, uh, just sort of what it is and some explanations, but I really don't recommend it. A lot of people use that for sketchy and illegal stuff, so I'm not, I'm not really not going to cover that in too much detail, but I'm going to cover what it is and how it works, and that could be something to look into. Um, if your only account that you have is screwed, uh, but you do really need to really understand what you're doing because you, you have to really understand everything or um, it's not going to work and like any new account that you make is going to link so uh, essentially with stealth you'd have to basically use all new information from a different real person that you can have and call and verify with um, on a different computer and a, on a different network using completely different information going to a different paypal like everything has to be different uh, so it's not something easy it's not something i'd recommend and um you know, all your essentially all your eBay accounts are tied to you. So if one of them is below standard, restricted, or suspended, you're not allowed to open new accounts until that one is fixed and dealt with. And then once it is, you can go ahead and go crazy and you know create more accounts. But um, don't uh, just don't go below the standard. It's really not that hard to avoid. But uh, hopefully you heeded my warnings and did not let yourself fall below standard. Also, if you do have a um, a defect showing up on your account or like, you know, a case that was closed against you somehow or, you know, or a return or something that you didn't, uh, you, you meant to refund them, but you, you missed it or you didn't get a notification and it, it's showing up on your transaction defect report as you've gotten one of them. Uh, you can most of the time call and have eBay remove those. So I've got a uh, live call of me that you can watch of me having some defects removed to my account. I think I have a couple of those actually in this course. And, um, uh, yeah, I'll do another video on how to have defects removed from your account. But, uh, yeah, so just don't let yourself go below standard. Um, your seller standard is evaluated, uh, once a month and, uh, not, not like immediately. So if you have a bad mark, um, that will put you below standard, it's not going to do it immediately. You'll have, you know, sort of until the, until you're evaluated. Uh, so you have until then to, I guess, get rid of the defect and bring yourself back up to standard if that's possible. And hopefully they will do it for you if it was just like a little thing but yeah in general just just stay on top of your stuff and you won't go uh, you won't go below standard and everything will be good anyway guys that's it for this video if you're new to drop shipping and you're trying to figure out how to get started i've got a full free set of training videos down there link in the description it goes over everything you need to know about how to get started making money online and the average person following my method makes around 500 to 800 dollars profit per month after expenses for each thousand item ebay store that they have set up and running they're really not that hard to get started if you've got any questions about anything drop shipping related feel free to hit me up on facebook i'll put a link down there as well as a link to a group that i started with hundreds of other drop shippers that you can join i post new content on this channel every couple days so go Go ahead and subscribe and click the notifications and I'll see you back here with another video in a couple days.